Hi, my name is Doreen from Doris Design. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you like this video, please hit subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I upload a video. Okay, so I hope you enjoy these crafts. So let's get our glue guns hot. Okay, for the first project, we're gonna need six of these Dollar Tree frames. I got them around Mother's Day. I'm gonna use some floral, any floral you'd like. I'm gonna use these daisies. Three of the little craft boxes and some floral foam. Okay, let's get started. Just gonna go ahead and take the backs out of all of them. And then I'm gonna use some little nose pliers just to pull out the, I don't know what you call them, little things that hold the actual picture in place. They come out fairly easy. And I did that to all six of them. Now I went ahead and sanded it because I like this distressed look. If you want to paint it, I suggest sanding it as well so the paint could adhere better to the wood. Also, I wanted the hot glue to be able to stick better, so I definitely give it a little sanding. Now I did this again to all six of them. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the little boxes. I'm using Waverly Antique Wax, and I used a little, put a little water in it because I wanted it a light color, and just really used it for a staining effect. You can paint it any color you want, obviously, but I was going for a natural wood look. Don't forget to paint the bottom because you will be able to see the bottom. And don't forget, I did a little bit of the inside and the top just in case you were able to see any spaces in the box. Now I wipe it off because it also helps it dry quicker. And like I said, I use it more like a staining agent. Okay, so there's the three boxes. And I went ahead and sanded them because again, I like the little distress look. I don't know if you could see that, but gave it a real nice distress look. I went ahead and put the floral foam in. I used one and a half of those little bricks per box. So I needed like one and a half. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and line them up and I'm going to start gluing them together. The top two. Now for the bottom. I started and then I just held them together for the purpose of the video. I just speeded it up. Now for the second one, you have to do the side and the top with hot glue. And I went ahead and pushed them together, lined them up and held them until they were sturdy. Okay. Did one of the last ones and bottom one you have to remember to do the top and the sides and there I had my window frame and when I turned it over I used these tiny little sticks that I got from Walmart I wanted to secure it you could use popsicle sticks but I wanted a more finished look and these worked perfectly I think I used about four across. I did have to cut a little bit at the end. And there I just measured with my pencil. Sorry, it was out of frame and then just cut a little bit off and glued it. Just wanted to give it a little bit more, make sure it was secure. And then I went ahead and just put two towels on the bottom. Two flat towels and then two on the top. 
So I used a total of 12, and then I removed any excess glue. Just measured it to make sure, and went ahead and the last one. And I did the other side, but for the, again, for the purpose of the video, I didn't include the upper two. Okay, now I don't know why it didn't record, but I had glued the boxes together and then glued them to the bottom of the frame. Now I went and just measured a little thumbtack that I got from Dollar Tree that you can hang stuff on. I measured in the middle of it. And then I went ahead and used some of these sunflowers. And I just cut them all off with a wire cutter. And then I went ahead and organized them all inside the box. Now you can glue down the floral foam. I did not. I didn't know if I wanted to trade it out at one point for grass, so I just didn't glue it down. I love this also you because I could change out the flowers for any holiday. And I thought it came out so cute. Now I got this wreath from the Target Dollar Spot. It was $3 and it is perfect. You can make your own wreath and Dollar Tree has wreaths. So I went ahead and cut out some, some flowers and I placed them. I then figured out I didn't like it, it was too much, so I went ahead and just used one of the sunflowers. And this is how it turned out. I simply love it. I always wanted a little window frame, and the little flower box in the bottom is so adorable. I love it, I think it looks great hanging in my home. Let me know what you think, if I should have left all the little sunflowers around the wreath or just one. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. I really appreciate it. So cute. I love it. Okay, on to the next craft. Again, I'm using all these frames from Dollar Tree. I got it near Mother's Day. Using some cubes. These are from Walmart, the craft sticks. And I'll just go ahead and take the backing off. Pulled off those little flowers and I'll use them in a different project sometime. And then I just, there was some hot glue. I just used a little razor to cut it off. Now I'm measuring my popsicle sticks. And I'm just gonna cut them on a scissor to size. And once I have the size, I'll use that as a template. And go ahead and cut the rest of them. It took nine total pieces of stick. I went ahead and painted this board because I was afraid that if any of the popsicle sticks could show through, you would see the white board. So I just went ahead and painted it brown. Then I went ahead and sanded the frames, and then I painted four of the little wood cubes uh, brown. It was uh, antique wax, uh, but the back of the framing I painted with uh, the brown chalk paint. I went ahead and painted the dowels. I used three dowels. It was the long Dollar Tree doll dowels. I just measured. I'm going to use the squares as the feet and I will place them at each corner. I'm sorry, that's not on the feet. That is going to be between each frame. And I'll measure the dowel and I will cut it. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue one side. 
and I actually should have put the other cube down first and I figure it out and then I go ahead and do that real quick. And then I put hot glue on the other end of it. Just giving it a little design. Again, just measure the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And then I will just hot glue it on both sides. I always measure twice and cut once. And I'd rather cut it a little longer than a little shorter, because shorter you can't fix. I glue on both sides, and then I held it there until the glue was secure. Just a little design. You could put beads instead of the dowels, anything you liked. So now I'm gonna place the other one on top. I have to remove those picture holders, hangers, whatever you call them, I'm not sure. That one gave me a little bit of trouble. And that's how I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna go ahead and place a little hot glue on the cubes. And then align it just so. And press it together. And my box is coming along, a little tray. Okay, once the paint was dried, I went ahead and glued down the sticks that we had previously measured. And I just went ahead and used the antique wax with a little bit of water to stain it. and then just put it right back in the frame. I had a little bit of wood on the edge and I was going to cut it, but my X-Acto knife was not working. So I just used the scissors to trim off any of the popsicle stick that was hanging on there. And then I put it back in the picture frame This is how it turned out. I think it's really cute. My little tray. Tell me what you think in the comments. It was really pretty easy and I think it turned out really high end and really looks cute. Now you could also put feet on it. This is how I decorated it. You could use four of the little squares to decorate, um, not decorate, sorry, to put as feet if you wanted to. Okay, on to the next project. I'm gonna use some Waverly White chalk paint. I got this welcome sign, they come in through your pack during the holidays at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use some Hobby Lobby scrapbook paper and of course that frame again. This video has been all about these frames. I love them. I didn't want to paint them. I liked the color they were. They went with my decor. But you can use this with any frame that you choose. You can even use the canvases that they sell at Dollar Tree. Okay, I went ahead and traced the, the scrap of paper, cut it out, and then I used Gorilla Glue Stick. Uh, I don't like hodgepodge, modge podge, whatever you call it. It leaves a lot of bubbles. I feel with the glue stick, it doesn't leave any bubbles at all. And works just fine. After I glued it on, I just turned it around, see if I needed to trim it. I didn't, and then I just 
put it back in the frame, and that's how it looked. And then I felt it needed something more. Wait, first, before I decided that, I went ahead and put some of the glue stick on the side. You can use hot glue, but I feel it's messier and hard to get the hot glue from streaming out of the letters. And this worked fine. Just wiped off some of the excess glue. And I felt it needed something more, so I got some jute twine. And I went ahead and just wrapped it around the picture. Hot glue a little bit at the end. And then just cut it off. And it fit perfectly. I thought maybe the jute twine was going to make it tighter, but it did not. It looked just fine. Now to go with all the other decor I did today, I added some daisies. And I think that came out really cute. Okay, on to the last and final project. I'm just gonna make a simple little tear tray. Just one tear, take off the flowers, I'll save them again for later. Took off the little bit of glue that was attaching them. Just went ahead and painted my little craft cubes. They'll be with the little legs. Went ahead and got my craft sticks. And I just wanted to do a different pattern this time. I cut them randomly. Cut off the end and then I would just measure towards the end and then cut it off. And then I glued it at one at a time. And I just went ahead making a different pattern. And I thought it came out really cute. And different than the other one. Okay, on the last one, it was a little bit over. It was hanging over a little bit. But I got my good X-Acto knife. First, I cut a little bit off the edge with my scissor. And then I got my good X-Acto knife. And it was very easy to take off the edges. Okay, now it was on to paint it. Again, gonna use that antique wax. I really love it. I wanted all three of these projects to go together and be cohesive. I also wanted to add a little dimension to this one, so I went ahead and I'm going to use Waverly Elephant Chalk Paint. The antique wax has water in it. The elephant, I did not. Just use a little bit. And if you use a dry towel, a paper towel, it will just spread and rub in and it'll become like a stain. Or you can use like a baby wipe. And it really stains it and I think it makes it look authentic, like a wood floor. It. I just went ahead and placed it back in the picture frame and went ahead and glued on the four craft cubes. And there it is. And came out cute. And you could also put those craft cubes on the previous project. And this is how my one tier tray looked. I think it came out so cute. And this is how I decorated it. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. 
And if you want to see when I upload a video again, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll know when I upload a video.